All right. Thank you for tuning in. We're doing another Dakaru Cube here. That's the plan. Got just enough play points to embarrass myself one more time. Four of eight, that bodes well. Starting point. If you're here and you can hear me, how you doing? Hope you're keeping yourself sane during quarantine. Unless you're not quarantined, in which case, good for you. All right. Well, this is quite a start. So I never hate Land War Elves' first pick. I feel like I've seen a lot of green. Um, and that'll power up basically any deck with green in it. Arena's pretty solid. Uh, black Black is a bit of a commitment. And honestly, I don't dislike either of these lands. Um, I've, I've been burned a little bit with the Pain Lands before, but... Uh, check land's always solid too, and I, I'll be honest, history is pretty tempting as well. Um, I feel like the elf is the more open pick because a little ramp can go a long way, um, and that could be anything from like a hard, hard ramp deck to a. Uh, um, I know I like GPG. I just feel like it, you know it's an artifact, but like at least in this cube, if you're not putting something in the graveyard on purpose, you could end up in trouble. That also is likely to wheel. I've seen that late in picks more than once. Um, and if we're going to GPG, we're going to want some ramp. I don't want to play this on actual turn 7. If I find some ways to get stuff in the yard, I would consider grabbing that if it comes around. For now, I'm going to go with the elf. That feels slightly more open. Um, I'm a big fan of Bone Crusher, probably more than I should be. Uh, we could lean into trying to get stuff in the graveyard with Ishkana, get some Delirium going. Um, Ewit also goes with that theme. I'm a little tempted to grab a Sweeper. Um, I don't know if I want to commit to white-white right now, but that has been sorely needed in multiple matchups that I've been in. Um, just a Sweeper at all. I'm a little tempted to grab Ishkana, stick with green... You know, with, with the elf, if we get more elves, we can play this on four. Um, and if we can find some self-mill, that would... The other option would be take Bone Crusher and cut red. And then hopefully that opens up red for us going forward. And green-red can be good. I might do that just to see if I can cut red. I'll try that and see where it gets us. Get a few picks in. Yeah, so far green and red look like they may be open-ish. I'm seeing blue and black going. The Battle Sphere is a great thing to ramp into. Um, I don't mind that as a ramp target. It's pretty versatile. The Brontodon is just solid value. Uh, always. And then there's more graveyardy stuff. Uh, worst case, this just comes back to your hand after it dies. I don't know if I love any of this red. I like Stomp, but I don't. I like Stomp Bone Crusher, but none of this is tempting to me. Yeah, I do like M Girl. Um, she's kind of her own thing. Battle Sphere stays open. I've had so, a little bit of good. A little bit of good luck playing that. Signet's good. All right, so Vessel is some self-mill. Um, the Ambusher is solid value. I've had that be good before. Again, uh, Inferno Titan's pretty solid in red. That's not bad. Smacking for three pretty much once a turn can be very powerful. Uh... So I think it's a good time to start thinking about whether or not we want to get into more of a ramp move or more of a self-mill graveyard shenanigans. I know that's a thing for sure. Um, and this is very open. can play 1-2. I'm going to grab this for now just because Titan is pretty replaceable. It's great. I mean, it's a good card, but it is by no means the only thing that does that. All right. So what I'm seeing here <laughs> is that ramp, self-mill, 
are both open. We've all been there. I will happily take the birds and hope that spider spawning will come around. If Ishkanah and Spider come back, we know we have a thing going. So, and again, I, I'm going to say blue and black seem pretty cut uh, comparatively. I'll take the birds there happily. Um, and, you know, maybe we're just in green-red monsters. Harmonize isn't terrific, but if we are going to be in green-red, that's going to be the best we're going to do getting... Uh, Getting card draw. Kavu's pretty nice too. Keeps in line with the Bone Crusher. I think I actually like that. Um, just more big body uh, damage dealers. Burn and a big body are always fine. Especially when it's an attacking body. 4 2 or 4 3. Dealing 2 or dealing 4. I like it. This is a solid card in this cube. I'm not going to take it here, but that is definitely worth looking at. I'm happy with the Kavu here. Um, all right, we're a little cut off from their green here. I don't think the Welder is on plan. Um, and I don't think I want to splash out into a color. I mean, I guess we could get into Teamer. Um, Pod is kind of doable. I tried that before. It wasn't great. It was pretty hard to make work. 3 mana, 3, 2, um, haste. Might be fine. I don't. I think we're more going to build up an attack, but it's not the worst thing. Alright, Ember Cleave and Light Up could both be quite good here. Um, I think someone else must have gotten into green. So we might be cut off from that a little bit. We might have to go more into the ramp plan, which I'm not against at all. Embercleave's excellent. Yep. And if we get a little bit more aggressive, um, Embercleave could be quite good. It is a good card. All right, so GPG came back around. Um, I might grab that just in case we can stick with that. <clears throat> Um, and stuff like Kavu will go well with that in Battlesphere. Like, those will be good reanimate targets. I'll grab it. Don't need this land. I'm going to need some lands. I haven't seen anything really on color yet. Um, I mean, I guess we could grab a sort of sweeper. If we're, if we're going to do GPG, that might be okay. I don't... I doubt we'll want to play that, but we'll see. Uh, I don't mind a man land. Three mana for five. Or ten for ten. Jeez. Um, and I don't think... I mean, this is aggressive, but I don't think that's where we're going. I'll take the man land. Uh, I might be okay with the wolf run as well. We don't need the madness. I'll take the land. Pia might be value again. Like if you reanimate this a 4-4 four, four and get two one ones. Um and then make stuff unblockable. I mean I don't think we're gonna play that, but well, team or pod might still be on the uh, not a good land, but a decent ramper. Not the worst. Pia is interesting. I don't mind it. Something that will let us not block, because then if you can get like mirror battles here going, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're doing okay on artifacts, and I'll grab a signet if it comes around. I don't think I'm gonna want pinging, except maybe in the sideboard against like a token deck. So that might be a good thing. I'm hot on either of these, though. Um, Rishkar coming in with some counters would be nice. Rancor is tough to deal with. I think Rishkar is better here. But I'd love to see Rancor come around. Power Stone might be okay. 
Oh yeah, I remember this, the Soul Bond. Plus four, plus four on both of them. That is brutally powerful. Dark Dwellers is good, except they don't have any spells. It's like all creatures. I almost think we want the Power Stone. To go from three to five. Attack with one thing and you can Ember Cleave. On turn four. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just a little afraid of getting too many rocks and not enough creatures. But I will take it. Lantern's pretty hard to pass here. Uh, Siege Gang is quite good as well. That's a perfectly fine five. I need to get some of these blue because we could get into, especially if we grab the lantern, we can get into a few different colors. Winding Way would fill up the graveyard. So this actually probably is a better move here. Um, get to draw a card. Sky Sovereign's good, it's just not like it is in mine. Um, I mean, it's still strong, like, but there's plenty of good O-ring removal that can just snap it up at sorcery speed without a problem. It doesn't fly under the radar as much as some other things. I also think, I mean, we need to fill up our graveyard if we want to play GPG. Uh, so like this with the vessel are going to be necessary. I need some lands. I haven't seen any lands that are going to help right now. Like, I'd almost be willing to break into Teamer a little bit to play Alchemy, except all the lands coming around are off color. Um, this is always solid, though. I mean, sometimes you just got to blow something up. Yeah, look at all these not quite helpful lands. Caravan's good. That's honestly better ramp because of the fixing than Warm Power Stone for us. I mean, just also being able to turn into a body. Crew 3. Like, Pia and Athopter. The Bone Crusher, the Kavu. Rishkar will all be able to crew this up. So I'm pretty tempted to go with that. That or we gotta get into white in case we need a sweeper. But I don't think we're gonna want a sweeper here. Garrison would also be solid, but I think I think I'm cool with the caravan here. I also don't mind if we're light on twos, just because if we can pick up one more elf, we'll we'll skip two. A fair number of games. So this would work with our red, maybe. I mean we don't have a ton of red. We're pretty evenly mixed right now. Could just try and ramp up to a mind slaver. Um, I don't feel this strongly about this if we already have Rex Sage. I might have found the one pod um, that's actually drafting lands. Oh, here we go. I'll take the Hermit. I will take the Hermit. Discarding cards might be okay. I don't like the randomness of it. That's more aggro to me. Um, but it would be a way to get stuff in the graveyard. It would also empty our hand, though. So, But I like I like the Hermit. I will happily ramp right up to that. Happily. Take a little removal. Um, I don't love exiling, because that's not going to help with our graveyard. Scrying would be good, though. It'd give us a little bit of straight early removal, a little early interaction. Can also just burn face, which is nice. Take that. Shrine's probably not going to end up in. Ooh, Rancor came around. I will take that. And that's just hard to deal with. That's just hard to deal with. White seems pretty open. I almost kind of wish we splashed into that. Go with... Uh, Yeah, we just, we have like no fixing at all. I mean, all our fixing is going to be birds and caravan stuff. Might not be the worst. Plus three, plus two on something. Let's 
get more into artifacts. Mother of Rooms is tempting too, if we could get into white a little bit. Because the Pyromancer doesn't do much for me. And the War Gear is fine, but I don't know if it's special. I don't know if it does a whole lot. Uh, Krenko's okay. Um, that with, uh, oh no, we didn't grab, we didn't grab that before. We don't have a Goblin Maker. Heart of Kieran might be okay, especially just being a flyer, but I don't want to get too heavy on vehicles here. Um, I mean, if we did get into white, this would give us one more burn option. I'm not convinced we're going to get into white yet, but I will take it since it's there. Um, <laughs> we do have a lot of artifacts. We do have a lot of artifacts. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure we're like in that deck, but I'll, I'll take Duretti. Um, I'll take this too. It's another mother style. There's no way we're going to cast this, but it came around, so we get it. White is definitely very open right now. Here we go. Signet. Great. Um, Ilharg. That is an excellent ramp target. Carney T. Excellent ramp target. Oracle's not bad. Like, if we're Ilharging out Mere Battlesphere over and over, or Deep Forest Hermit over and over, like. Yauchi. Yauchi. Yeah, Duretti can cheat out GPG. So we can mill a little bit more. I know Ilharg has done some, like, legit work. And I know Carney T is just a big beater. I feel like out of the two... Carnage Tyrant might be slightly more likely to wheel. I, that's probably not totally true. Um, I don't think either is super likely, but if I have to take the chance, I'll happily take Utopia Sprawl. That's what we were looking for. This is the one mana that we need. Um, yeah, it's not even really a contest, honestly. Uh, yes, I will happily take an on-color fetch. Thank you. Rhythm's nice, but that could wheel. A fetch is not going to wheel. Uh, at least it doesn't seem like it will. And if that doesn't wheel, Findhorn Elves will. Like, one of those will wheel. One of those will come around. We'll take it then. Yeah, we need some lands. Greaves are nice. Rurik Thar is nice. Um, especially if we get it against some... Ooh, actually, Wild Growth is really excellent. We're really going to ramp. Yeah, because, I mean, we have some fives and sevens that we really need to... really need to get out. So I think Wild Growth is our move. Um, and there's a decent chance one of these will come around as well. I don't think we need to get into white now that we're getting some of the stuff we really need. Getting some of the slower... Red green stuff. <laughs> I will slam Hornet Queen. I've seen this like four times. I've I've drafted maybe four or five times I've done this cube. And I've seen this in at least three different uh leagues. Like, I don't know what is going on, but this thing just keeps coming around. But I would be happy to Ilharg that out every turn. Or just play it. Or bring it back from the graveyard. All those things. I'd be happy to blink it too. But again, I don't think we're going to grab a... I don't think we're going to splash into white right now. Um, I mean, I guess just a 3-mana 4-2 flash is quite fine. This is probably more like 24th card right now. Uh, Hellrider could be tempting because we're going to get some tokens maybe going? I might actually just play that. I might actually just be able to play Hellrider. Oh, that's true. Cathartic would get stuff in the grave. 
well, it's not too late for that to come around. We also, I mean, we might just need to land, honestly. I think this is probably the move. Um, just because we haven't seen a ton of lands. But that Hellrider's tempting. <laughs> we have some big pips. This might be okay. I mean, Incubation Druid would be the other pick, but... Um, dang. I don't know. I almost think I'd rather have the body if we're doing two color. Because it's not like we're going to be mono green right now. So yeah, I think this is it. It's tempting though. Alright, what came around? Carnage Tyrant came around. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, Tyrant is the pick for sure. We The Gruel Signet went. So someone's either doing like Wildfire or just in gruel or or in a three color deck that includes one or both of those colors uh i mean having another um having another naturalized effect might be just fine for the sideboard i'm not a big fan of either of these cards in red Ooh, nice rhythm came around thank you that would be just fine Excellent. Rourke Thar came around. All right, so I think probably there's people in green. I don't. It feels like not many people are in red, um, but I don't think anyone's in Gruel specifically because we we did get. Oh, sweet! And we'll get a little uh, pseudo sweeper for the sideboard, and then we'll just splash blue and black in for. Yeah, someone took the signet, but that could have been an off color thing. Oh, I like Crater Maker too, because this was getting the graveyard. And having that come back as a 4-4 would be just fine. All right. 27. So we got to make a few cuts. Um, is this? It's only from the battlefield that makes it come back. So with all this ramp, I'm pretty happy with this fatter top end. I think we want to cut on the threes a little bit. Um, I think this is going to be our one... Uh... Our one uh, artifact blower upper. I think rhythm. Oh, riot is good though. I'm not as worried about the countered. I mean, that's nice, but it's not my top priority. Um, I think this can be sideboard because if people aren't casting non-creature spells, then he's just a six-six that attacks every turn, which is like meh. That's Elharg for one less mana with trample and an ability. Uh, we're going to keep all of our ramp. I think we need to keep the vessel. These two are similar. So we have four turn one ramp spells, which I'm very happy about. And then we've got one more at two and then possibly one more at three, depending. I mean, any creatures that are on the board on three are going to already have ramp to them. I guess we could cut Krenko. Um, he's not really on plan. And on three, I'll definitely rather play Rishkar, Pia. Pia might be off plan as well. The not blocking thing is nice, because, like, if we have Pia on three and we've ramped, or, like, if we get Pia on two because, like, a birds or something, and then we get Ilharg on four, like, I would love to be able to make Ilharg unblockable just so we feel confident swinging. Um... We might be able to get away with one less land, too. This might be a, a 16 land deck with all these one mana accelerators. Yeah, Pia does give Duretti some easy targets. It's true. Um, where Krenko doesn't as much. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, with all this one mana, I almost would cut Incubation Druid. I don't think I will. I might cut Caravan, but that's any color, which this also is, which is one of the things. Oh, this is any that our lands could produce. So it's not actually fixing. But it's also a mana sink for later in the game. And I've definitely come across times needing those. Um, I'm almost tempted to cut Rancor. Because, like, I want pretty much all this top end. Um, you know, removal, the artifact plan, 
this is going to help us cheat out one of these big fatties or we're going to ramp into them. Like I want plenty of ramp targets because I've definitely gotten caught without a top end when I don't have enough. Uh, Bone Crusher. Rex Age is definitely going to have a target. Um, like almost always does. Could almost cut Rishkar. The counters are nice. And the crater maker just puts itself in the graveyard so easily. This is a this is a challenging cut. I'm gonna pull Rancor. When it comes down to it, that's one thing I could imagine living without. But the other ones, not so much. All right, uh, let's see what they suggest for lands here. I agree with that. I generally agree with that. Yep, 16 is fine. May also just not even need Kessig Wolf Run, but I'll play it. This will be good. I've seen that be solid in a green deck. All right, well, this sure is a deck. Sure is a deck. Let's take a peek. Let's get in there. See if we can embarrass ourselves. Not really, just me. Don't worry, they can't see any of y'all. Oh, hell yeah. All right, come on, Accelerator. Great. Great. I don't think I have a duel I can fetch with this, so I'd rather just forest into the elf. Could fetch up a mountain if we need it for Magma Jet later. I think most hands are going to be keepable if there's a one-mana Accelerator, especially on the play. All right, white weenie it is. Uh, we can slow that down. Um, which we might want to. One, that would be one, two, three mana. Which leaves us short on the Kavu this turn. Um, oh, we're not going to care about that ability. Uh, so yeah, I'll just put this on the forest. I'll magma jet this just to slow them down. <clears throat> Do we put sprawl on top of the forest? One, two, three, four. I just draw the forest next turn. Yeah, it's fine. Draw the forest next turn and play the hermit. Seems like a great way to open up against White Weenie and their one little vampire. <clears throat> Actually, they could have another one drop. Ooh, good news for us. That's great. La la la. The last few times I've been in green, my ramp hasn't gone the way I wanted it to. This is one of the first times I feel like I'm playing the ramp deck I want. I also like that we can now hold up Kavu. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana next turn. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to so enjoy burning that. Please take the Hermit. Oh my gosh, come on. You never tuck a hermit. You never do that. Four more squirrels and another turn? Yes, please. I'm going to say red because we don't have a lot of that right now. Burn the warden. You lose a blocker and give me my hermit back, which is four more squirrels. All the fucking squirrels! Yeah. 
<laughs> Welp is right. Yeah, you can't tuck the hurt. I mean, I get it. It's tempting, but you can't. There you go. I still have eight fucking squirrels. And that cost them their turn. And I have a 4 2. Yeah. Because Wolf Run was just going to be a pump on whatever they didn't block. Well, that went quickly. Uh, White Weenie. Um. I don't know that there's mu I guess uh, Storm's Wrath would be the one, right? Get a sweeper in. Um, like Caravan isn't going to be as helpful there. Three mana for a not always body is going to be tough. Um, I guess in theory I could bring in the disc too, but I think that's probably excessive. Because as long as I get a accelerated start here, we might be okay. I don't know about that. Uh, I guess we can drop this on two and this on three. They'll both get counters, assuming that this survives. And then we'll have three, four, five mana, plus hopefully draw a land by then. I don't love it on the draw, but I don't want to mull away because three lands is pretty good. Yep, and you're going to have a two one, and that's fine. Kavu on four will be quite good as well. Um, we're just going to have to take some hits here. It's not going to be like last game where we got away with only paying a life for our fetch. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going to keep telling myself that. Scry 2. Yep. That's the move when you don't have a blink target, I think. This early. You're only going to gain the life when you're behind. Yippity yep. Great. All right, and we got our land. So we're just going to let them let them beat us up a little bit with their two twos and two ones. That's not good. That's going to slow us down. Could play the Druid first and try to put counters on that. It's got to survive, but that's okay. So I'll have three and two next turn. Well, four mana basically yeah, I'm gonna let that through yeah not really worried about drawing right now three one two no I can't do them both this turn Um, because it's going to be three for Rishkar, and she'll only tap for one. One, two, three, four, five. five. So I actually think Kavu's good here, because uh, I can burn off one of their attackers and then have a blocker, theoretically. Yeah, Druid only taps for more than one mana when you uh, put a counter on it. Oh, shit, right, which would have happened with Rishkar. Well, that's all right. We can still do that next turn. She'll tap for three, four, five. If we put a counter on Kavu, we'll be able to tap for six. So we can Carnage Tyrant next turn. We can Rishkar into Carny T, which is fine too, as long as Kavu survives. So we got to take four more.
Yeah, I always forget that Druid doesn't have to adapt. It just has to have counters. All right, well, just cutting a little close. No big deal. No big deal. Mishkar. Right, is that right? Yep, okay. That will slow them down. I also, honestly, at this point, will trade Rishkar for two. I will happily chump there. Um, I kind of have to if they swing. Yep, they're getting in there. Nope, they're not. Good. That is what I needed. I can toss a fetch at this point for Duretti. Um, I can do that too. Draw any creatures I can. Whoa! All right. Sweet. Sweet. Pulled it out at six. What were we going to reveal? Four? Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Because then we had three, four mana. So we still could get Bone Crusher out. Because we would have drawn these two creatures and pitched these two lands. So that's that's legit. That would have been legit. Um, we could have either dropped Bone Crusher as a blocker or stomped something. And then the following turn. Like, I probably would have stomped the first striker pass all right sweet good way to start Let's see if we can keep it rolling time we got at nine i'm recording for the so next week if anyone who's here doesn't know next week cultic cube uh another really excellent channel uh their cube is going to be here same thing it's going to be a featured cube for a week it goes up wednesday so i'm talking to john from cultic cube tonight we're going to record a little bit a little bit of a chat. I think we're going to do a little bit of drafting uh, on Cube Cobra. I'm going to try. Excuse me. I'm going to try to get that out on Monday. Because I think I think his article goes live on Monday. So that's the plan. That is the plan. Yes, I would love to go first so much all right but i don't know if i like waiting i never feel good tossing a hand with three lands but we could get really stuck on this open but you know what i need to trust the density of ramp that we have i think is where i'm at i think i just need to trust that because I can either burn or creature on two, and I'm on the play. And I can Rex Age on three, so like if they're ramping at all, I have a good chance of cutting them off. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Like I have a couple different ways to keep the board under control. You are correct. We'll try it. Can also bluff Mono Red for a little bit if we want to. All right. Sweet. So we can jet that. Uh, yep, I'm going to jet that because I want to scry and fix this hand. Like, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, wait a minute. I'd rather get the Kavu next turn. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's fine. Aha, a new sparkling water with two Same thing. Like we can use the crater maker, sage, and kavu to keep things citrus, under control. Aha, nice. Tea. Hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully that means we did it right. Uh, so we'll play this and this. We can go grab something if we need it. EOT. I don't think. I think. 
I think all the dual lands we had, none of them had a forest or mountain type. But we can crack this for a forest if we need to activate the Crater Maker. If not, we'll see. We'll see what they do. We'll probably do it end step no matter what. Bone Shredder. And is this any target? Colorless non-land permanent. No, it's target creature. So they're going to destroy our goblin. If they're going to blow up our goblin, I'd rather just... I, mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Because I doubt they were going to pay Echo, but just in case they were... Oh, sweet. All right. Because I don't want to play the Kavu unless I'm going to get value out of it. So I want something to blow up. But I can crack the vessel. Happily. Yeah, you're right. There was no reason not to just blow that thing back up. Oh, boy. I'm going to be happy to blow that up next turn. All right. I'm going to make you wait. One, two, three, four. Is the giant better? What do we have in our graveyard? Just the goblin. The rest are going to go in the graveyard. So if we grab the gift, we might be able to reanimate. But that could take a while. We don't have the ramp for that. If I take the mountain, I can play the hermit. That actually feels like the safest bet. I feel a little dumb taking that, but... I'm going to Kavu this turn, I think. Just because Ophiomancy gets out of control. Always. Oh, sweet. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. Burn off the Mancer. Drop the birds. So I guess we kind of could have taken God Pharaoh's gift because... Or Carney T, because we're at six now. But that's alright. That's alright. There's plenty more five, six, and seven drops that are quite strong. Nice. Nice. Black is our Panzer, is the username. That matches. I was hoping they'd try to bait me with a swing. Oh, yes! Embercleave next turn? Yes? Yes. Perfect. Hey, Dakaru, thanks for stopping in. What's good is red green in your cube. That's what's good. We just ran 2 0, and even though I did not get my accelerators, we had a very nice little red control start. Kept their board clear, killed off their gutter bones, their Ophiomancer, and in a minute, we're going to overrun them with squirrels. No, this is uh, match two. Match one, match one was 2-0. Sorry. But this deck came together real nice. I've seen, uh, some, I, who was it? Uh, you were in their stream. Was drafting, uh, Ilharg and, like, just murdered. And they were in, like, red-green, basically. Ooh, Judith is good here. Um, and this is going to be almost free, right? And it's 1-1 one, one double strike trample. Perfect. I guess we could hit the arena with Rex Age. That might be good. That might be smart. Since we should be able to... We'll have... Yeah, we'll have four attackers. I'll get in with all the squirrels. Um, but we'll do that after. See what they block. Alrighty. Can throw that on a squirrel. Oof. That is a big oof. 
And then let's end your access to solutions. Yuppity yup. Okay. Yeah, this deck is, like, very simple. I just got a hold of a lot of the one mana accelerators and enough fun payoffs. I've got, like, a little artifact side theme. Uh, greedily playing GPG. Um, oh, the Kavu? Yeah. True. True. Uh, oh, what am I doing sideboard? So they seem to have a lot... Like, I didn't see a lot of spells. I'm sure they have some somewhere in there. Um, I don't think I need to worry about a sweeper. I guess, theoretically, I grab Nature's Chant? I don't think I'm going to need it. I don't think I'm going to need it. Um, and I didn't see enough non-creature spells to be worried. They're in black, red. And this is a decent chance they're running like Terminator or something like that. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, make it a 5-5 a five, five double strike. That's legit. That's legit. Um, that would have added two more. Two, six, four. No, I'm not sure that's true. I'm not sure there's anything I really need to board in here. I didn't see enough of their deck to be sure. Killed everything too fast. Over the battle ball? Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. All right, this is... <laughs> yeah, GPG is a little greedy. It's a little greedy. We got Vessel and we got uh, uh, the two mana self mill lands or creatures, wild something. I don't think I like this, especially on the draw. No guarantee I can get that out. This is probably worse. Wowzers. Um, I don't want to go to five. At least we can get out the Crater Maker. Probably put Embercleave on the bottom, because if we can get enough red, we can get Ilharg out. Um, it's going to be rough. It's going to be a rough one. All right, at least I don't have a one drop this time. Oh, phew. Okay. Um, let's get this out. Yeah, the only thing that was rough on this one was we just really did not see any red-green lands. We saw the foothills and the wolf run. Alright, so that could hurt us a little. If they take Crater Maker, we have no plays for a while. But they leave us all our payoffs. And we do have a nice density of one, two, and three drops in here that we could draw into. Personally, I would probably... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's fetch. Get a mountain. All right, well, at least we still have our two drop. And now we have a three drop. Not worried about counter spells here, but Riot's nice. Riot's fun on a Carnage Tyrant. It also means our mana dorks have haste. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Oh, Alright. The hand attack deck, which is not good on a mall. But okay. Yeah, that's fair. We'll just play like an aggro deck and attack. 
The cleave is back. Can't even pump him with the wolf run. Oh, nice. Nice. I got a lot of respect for that. A little fear. But I got a lot of respect for that. Alright, there we go. That's a start. This is at four mana. It's something. At least we got a little damage up front. Nice. Bolt the bird. Sure, I would have left Gaunti up there, but all right. So we'll Elf. All these three toughness guys are making Crater Maker look like a piece of crap. But at least he could be a chump if we need him. Yep. That makes sense. Oh boy. That's not good. That's not what you want. There's Gonti coming in. I mean, if we get a land, we could get a little... We could... Okay. I mean, we could sneak Embercleave in. Actually, no, we don't have red. Fuck. Uh, one. We could make this a 3-2 with Trample. And got him. That's the best we could do here. Um, we're facing down two, four, six. If we do that defensively, though, um, we get to pick what we want to get rid of. And the answer is probably the rider or the garrison. The garrison's going to make one ones over and over, which is really scary. Dakara, I forgot to check. Are both parts of Hanweir in here? Can you meld that? Or is it just the garrison? You can put that in there. Gotta take four, but at least we get rid of that. Ah! Oh. Bollocks. <sighs> yep. Nice. Well played. Well played. Well, at least he's a 3-3. Three, three. And a dork. No matter how big or small your business is, we really just need one more mana. Because once we get Carnage Tyrant down, we've got some control over the board. We still have Gonti to deal with before we can start attacking. Ha 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 That is amusing. Oh, that's ours. <laughs> I was like, where did they get that? Yeah. Well, we gave them that, that's for sure. We sure let them play that. Now, the goal was for us to get... Yeah.
So we're facing 14. We can cut four of it, which is 10. Or we can cut three of it and actually trade. Doesn't matter. We're dead on board unless we draw the sweeper that we're not playing. Give it one more draw step, but we're, I think we're just dead on board. Yup. I mean, technically we can get down Carnage Tyrant, but at one. We did. All right. I think I will bring in the Sweeper. And I'm cool with a bigger body over GPG. I don't think we got the density of uh, self-mill that we want there. Um, top four and winding way is what I was trying to think of earlier. I don't think we need the vessel if we're not going to GPG. Yes. Oh, come on, one lander. What is that about? All right, well, winding way on two is the best we're going to do. Uh, get rid of the battle sphere. Yeah, I'll look at, I mean, I'll reconfigure the deck. Oh, Birds is okay here. Birds is good here. Four mana next turn. Winding way saying creatures and hope we pull up something decent like a Kavu. Or they could agonizing remorse us, take our winding way, and we could be fucked. Oh, the hand attack. All the hand attack. Yep. That I knew was going to happen. Especially since they seem to have taken all of it. Why would you not swing with your 2-1 there? I mean, worst case, it is. Well, and if they get decent removal and can bolt the bird, we're in a little bit more trouble. But as it stands, we've got the mana to get Rurik out. And then he's just a big dumb idiot. And it'll it'll set them back anytime they want to use removal or hand attack. So we just got to get there. I would love to draw an elf. Or get my bird bolted. That's always fun. All right, well, at least that's something. Don't care for where it's going right now. It's a good spell. I think I passed that one because at the time I wasn't sure if we were going to play red or not. Or uh, there was something that we needed more. Well, if we don't draw anything to play, at least we can... Make a 3-3 next turn, defensively. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I don't mind a chump. See where we get here. Ooh, Lily. That's slick. Because <clears throat> now they'll swing and trade. And they'll get a Lily. Shows what you know. I'd rather take three. I 
know how valuable that Lily is, especially when you can reanimate with it. Or I think it's any card, right? Ooh. Carney T or Rorik? Vigilance and Reach. Oh, I forgot about the Vigilance. He's just going to attack into the Death Toucher. Rorik 100%. Sure. Rurik does die to Death Touch. <clears throat> when he swings into their Ophiomancer. If they don't cast a non-creature spell, he'll just die. Granted, he'll... Yeah, he doesn't even have Trample. I'll do Rurik next turn. Because it's not like they can drop a kill spell on Carney T anyway. If Carney T was vulnerable, I might have said Rurik instead. That way, if they try to remove him, they take six. Watch them drop a bunch of hand attack now. That would have triggered Rurik. And prove me wrong. And sidestep right. They only have two in hand as well. That's the other thing. They also know about Rurik. They they saw Rurik when they did their uh, agonizing remorse. So there's a chance they were prepared for that. Carney T is a surprise. Ah, I'm like, we'll see. Ooh, Thopter? Dinosaur? What's the pick here? Thopter, so we can't jump with it. Jackal? Are they going to play a Jackal Pup just to flip Lily? Did I miss something? Do I not know how things work? Yeah, we don't have an artifact in the yard for Duretti. We can also turn the snake off with Pia. So we can swing for 13 with some trample. They will have some chumps, but the death toucher we can turn off. Ha! 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 This would be a uneven sweeper. Uh, right? Yep. That's pretty good. We're going to lose our Pia. Yeah. No, I'm just savoring. I'm savoring for a moment. Oh, hey, that hits me too. Sweet. Attack first? It's a sorcery. I'm still worried about their Death Toucher. I mean, yeah, I guess I could sack the Thopter, turn that off, attack, swing, but I'm not sure it matters. Except for putting me at five. Yep. Bunch of triggers that don't matter. <laughs> if we had one more mana we could have uh, gotten in there with the treetop as well make it a solid 16 <laughs> all right six for six yeah not bad not bad well i can cast already now no good point Idak, that is a good point. I would be the type who'd be like, Duretti! <laughs> Dead! Alright, now they need an answer to Carnage Tyrant. Or a blocker with... Well, oh, yes! Woo! Woo! Close one. Okay. 2-0 for the league. 
All right, but let's get in that deck first. Because uh, I think I'm off GPG. I'm on Rurik. I think I'm off. That probably means Doretti's out. Stoke isn't bad. Convoke may or may not be a thing, but with rampers, it's like whatever. And I think I'm off the vessel as well. Over. Power Stone. On to the finals. Yeah, it does. That's true. When I drafted it, I was worried about having too many three drops that didn't do anything except ramp, but. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I can do that. Still have some decent artifacts. Duretti might not be the worst. I mean, I know bringing back GPG is a big thing for him, but... Someone will blow up our Power Stone or our Cultivators. Lean into ramp a little bit more. I was hoping we'd get that sort of like backup graveyard thing, but that's all right. Oh, yeah. Been really good luck with the die rolls. Uh, oh, nice. Ether Hub enchanting it with wild growth. Yeah, I like Rhythm. I think it's got a spot in here. Um, or drop... Uh, either way, I think I can keep this. I would really love to have a more than one time green source, but this will just be an unconventional start. I'm not going to toss away a turn 2 Rexage or a turn 3 Flame Tongue. Just because I don't have a forest. Yeah. No, I know. I know it does. It's just kind of... I don't know. It feels weird. <laughs> I like it. it. feels weird. We don't have a ton of double green or double blue. And certainly none of it's on turn two, so... Uh, oh, Power Stone? All right. All right. Y'all right. Unfucking believable. Of course. Of course. That's right. Shouldn't surprise me at all. There's another green source. Um. Yeah, true. Yep, they sure did. Um. Do we just drop the Kabu? I hate wasting a good ETB, but a four-two beater is a four-two beater. Introducing Aha, a new sparkling water oh. with two big flavors we meet for the first time. Hi, green tea. Hello, also could just eat a counter spell at this point. We'll see how hard they went on it. Yep. Remand. Fine by me. It does. Doesn't matter. Obviously, they don't know it either. Cobra. The Kabu would... The FTK would burn himself. Deals 4 damage target creature if he's the only one on the battlefield. And it, But they remanded it. Which was actually bad, because if they'd let it resolve, I would have learned that the hard way. Now I'm going to burn their Cobra. Uh, and unless they're about to... Yeah. It's a big turn. Hurt. 
Oh. Two, three, or five. So I think we blow up the Cobra with the Kavu. Because then we can start swinging and we can blow up the Mind Stone the following turn. And then hopefully we'll have drawn a land for Hornet Queen by that point. I like everything about that plan. I mean, they got a good acceleration out of that. I'll give you that. I'll give them that. They drop Nykthos in the yard. Impulse, I don't care about. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I remanded the Kavu. Awesome. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, I'm going to happily blow that up. Two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah, a better target indeed. I'm sure they'll chump the Seder. It's done its job. But that's fine. I'm happy to get it out of the way. They might have a counter spell in hand. Fabled Passage, Fetch. Okay, good. Hurts, doesn't it? Did I miss playing a land? Shit, I think I did. Too busy blowing stuff up. Oof. Bye bye land. Or is it just artifact? It is just artifact. Fine. Yeah, blow it up! The misclick that could have been. That is a perfectly fine magma jet target. Scry a land to the top. Um, I know, right? Well, and it would enter tapped, so... But I'm also happy to just make a Hornet Queen instead. Um, I don't think I want that. I'd actually be okay taking a turn to play that. One, two, three. I could pump for one, but that doesn't seem like it's worth. Why not? I'm not going to use my mana for anything else. What are you doing? Oh, you're drawing a card. Sure. One, two. I need a forest if I want to play Hornet Queen. Um, actually, if they just fetched up something silly. What? Didn't save a red. Yep. Good idea, bad. Implementation. I don't need the scry, I just want to land. I put them both on the bottom. No, oh, I put one on the bottom. I only put the uh, enchantment on top because it felt silly to put it on the bottom just to roll the dice on a land, but I'm happy with the land regardless. Nice. Gotta love those quick level ups. Interesting. Um, it's a one, two. <laughs> I know, right? All right, so you can either are oh, you gonna trade? Okay, take four. The creatures can't be countered is actually gonna be really nice here. I forgot about that. I remembered about the riot, but I thought about bottoming that. But it's actually probably better so that now I can play my seven drops a little more safely. Yeah, like Thrag Tusk is great. 
But you know what doesn't give a fuck about Thrag Tusk is Hornet Queens. God damn it. Literally almost a land. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. All <sighs> right. Um, haste doesn't matter. It's still a one for one. Yeah, I know, but uh, what am I going to do with the mana? I don't have a... I, I need one more mana. I'd rather I'm be a two drop and be a little more resilient. Because that's still only two, four, six. Um, this will make a three, three. Do I offer the trade? One, two, th three, four. So I can pump to six. Yeah, I'll get in there. Because if they don't want to trade, I've got the pump loaded. If they trade, I think I'm better off. Sweet. And it gives it trample. I'll trample three, three over. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It does indeed. I'm not worried about their 3-3. Three, three. And I think Hornet Queen is now... Oh, interesting. All right. Let's get this out. Uh, I'm going to do counters on that. Are they all going to get counters? No. Interesting. Oh, non-tokens. Still fine. I did the counter just because I, I think I might haste the battle sphere next turn. Especially since the uh, tokens won't get the... Never mind. Doesn't matter. We got there. Uh, what do we need? Well, we want Rurik Thar for their non-creature spells. And we want Rhythm. Um... I don't think we need a sweeper. We, we kept the one for ones up pretty well. Could get the on crop just for the slightly more hasty. And like Pia, we might not need. Actually, they have worn power stone. I'm definitely gonna bring in nature's chant over the crater maker. Yep, nice, good timing. See, we're on a, we're on a Wavelength there. Nature's chant for sure. Um, wow, they're really shredding this guitar here. Uh, and I think the Crasher's tempting over Pia. I think I might try that. Because Pia makes, wow, well, Pia makes things unblockable though. That might be a thing. I'll keep her. We have to sack the artifacts. You only get a couple whacks at that. One, maybe two, if you have a caravan that you're willing to give up. Whatever, I'll give it a try. What could go wrong? Just a 3-0 on the line. No big deal. Right? It's no big deal. <clears throat> God damn it. What's with the one-landers? Oh, no, wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do the same thing. You do the same thing. Sweet. I can keep this. Because we'll have everything except Stoke the Flames up on... Oh, God. All right. If they spell Pierce this wild growth... Oh, fuck it. Even better. Um... 
Do we enchant the forest? I think we do. Okay. Phew. I'm not sure that's worth spell piercing, but if they had, I would have been so sad. Now, do we just stomp them? Or do we winding way? I think we winding way and look for creatures. It's totally worth piercing. I don't, I mean, they must not have it. Maybe they're trying to bluff me on it. One, two, three, we'll have four next turn. I think we just stomp them. I mean, we could have just cast the Bone Crusher, but I don't like wasting Stomp when I've got the mana and the time for it. We'll have four next turn, so we could either burn something, drop the Giant, we can Winding Way, Nature's Chant. Let's see what they... Let's see what they do. It's just an unorthodox Bird Bolt. You're 100% right. Eliminating ramp like that is always good, especially on the opening hand, just because. Yeah, this is not worth burning. Uh, just because, like. Um, if they kept their hand. All right, here we go. Yep. So we definitely just drop the bone crusher. If they target it, um, they're going to get whacked back. And if they leave it, we can Rishkar the following turn, which will make... Uh, we'll put counters on both of them. For, and we'll actually be able to Winding Way or Nature's Chant in conjunction with that. Or theoretically Stoke if we have to. Oh, nice. Nice. Same plan. Ooh, or the Kavu. Do we just Kavu Rishkar? And then Rishkar ourselves put counters on our fours? I think we do. Yeah, I think I do that. Unless it gets countered. Oh, come on with your fucking remand. Alright. Um, that's fine. Just takes a turn off. They might swing with their Rishkar. They might just use it for ramp. The Vat. Interesting. Why would you not swing for three? You can get the vat for free. Not all crops are new this month. Or are new years old. Take the Baron to hear exciting classical versions of today's hottest hits, including Someone You Love, Perfect, Bad Guy, and more on the Not Your Parents Classical playlist. And then, let's be cute. And say nope to that. You do not get to mimic your Rishkar, unless you have a counter spell. See, that remand feels a lot better there, doesn't it? In front of the microwave? So doesn't it? Wish you could just hit the skip button with premium? Little hot on the trigger with their remand, I think. Skip, repeat. Anytime you feel like we bit. Tap the banner now to get premium. Free for three whole months. Three, four, five, six. So six mana next turn. We could do a stoke for free along with Winding Way. We can Rishkar with Winding Way. If we draw a land, we could Rishkar with Stoke the Flames. We have so many options. I think that's probably worth burning. Uh, oh, sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six. So. All right. Um, this is still red. We're going to need red, red. So we do one, two, three, 
for Rishkar. Yes. We hit the Thrag. We pay red, red, green, Convoke. I get a 3-3. Three, three. We swing. Double block. I'll eat both your creatures. Doubt they have any kind of pump, but... Sweet. Tapping FTK to play Birds of Paradise feels a little unorthodox, but I like it. And then the beauty is Winding Way is just going to reload our hand. What's your six drop? Have we seen? Oh, nice. Very nice. Well done. That's solid. All right, let's see what creatures are on top. Oh, fuck yeah. Three, four, I think we need birds for that, right? Three, four, five. I like that. Not that we have anything to snap out with it, but a 6-6 six, six trample is still solid. Uh, let's get the elf out too, because we don't need to ill-harg that out. Plus, we still have a lot of good stuff um, in hand, or uh, in the deck worth uh, worth ill harging. So if we draw something good, oh, I forgot they had black. Yeah, they've been off their black this whole game. Either haven't needed it or haven't had it or both. They have five cards in hand too. That's. a lot. Ooh, Leo. Not bad. Good old Leo. <laughs> Amazing. 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 Yep. That's all right. Something will come up. This is where we need a mana sink. Nice. <clears throat> Very nice. Oh, right. Forgot about that. We don't have anything we can flash back. Oh, don't swing into the death touch. So there's a good chance we just have to take 10 or maybe 9. 
they'll hold back one death toucher at least for Ilharg. Maybe two for whatever he brings out. Nice. No, and that's the kind of card advantage we need right now. That or we need our sweeper that I didn't put in. I'm going to be cautious and get in for six, which makes sense because that lessens the clock and we're going to flood. Yep. Can't swing into that. Yep, that makes sense too. I don't think we have an out, except for our own Hornet Queen, which is still only just going to stall things up. Because even Carnage Tyrant can't really get through the insects. Um, yep. Clock me at six. Well, that was tough. All right, I think I will bring in the sweeper. As good as Stoke was. Um, don't know over what. I guess Pia can be out. <laughs> if you Ilharg with Pia in hand... Um, you can make him unblockable every turn, but, so that would have been probably my one out there, because even my own Hornet Queen was only going to tie things up, Ember Cleave wouldn't do enough, Carney T, Deep Force Hermit, those just aren't going to cut it unless, I mean, if you're ill harging them, you only get one shot, because he'll die to the Death Toucher. Yep. I do not have a lot of solutions to Hornet Queen in this deck. But let's hope we get a good opening hand. Birds Rishkar Carnage Tyrant feels pretty good. They will not have time to snap off a counter on birds, and I doubt they'll be able to get Rishkar. That also won't quite get Carney T out on three unless we draw a different door. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. That's still fine. I still like birds on one when they don't have a land. I love that. Especially when they don't have a response. Uh, Druid first. Because then Rishkar makes her a triple dork. Now we're off to the races. If it wasn't the finals, I would attack with birds just to send a message, because that is important. But I don't want to do anything to jeopardize the potential 3-0. Ooh, two green with no play? Bad news for them. Um... Probably should have put one of those on Rishkar instead. That's right, though. Um, I already played a land, right? Yep. Um, so we still for three, four. Not quite enough. But I'll get in there. They kept seven. They must have something good coming up. Because their deck has played multiple one and two drops. That's yeah, gonna be too late, Ombre. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Right now. Two, 
two mana per creature. What, with the Rishkar? The Druid will tap for three now, because when she has a counter on her, she taps for three. That's all. Yeah, no, she'll tap for three. Yeah. No, I literally forgot that before you came on, came and watched. Like, I literally was there, and Idak was like, put the counter on the Druid. And I was like, why? <laughs> yeah. Uh, two, three, four... All right, so we're going to make triple green here. Four, five, six. Um. Wolf run. Green, put this on the hub because we might want to activate Kessig. In subsequent turns, attack with Rishkar because we can. Oh, two, no, 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 three, three from the Druid and one from uh, Birds. Yeah, which is four, but not two and two. No, I know it could be tempting to read Rishkar as each counter gives it, you know, tap for a green and you think two counters means two mana, but no. All right, now they might have six mana, which is not Hornet Queen. But it could be a number of other powerful things. Or it could be one of those crazy multi-ramp Lotus Cobra fetch nonsense type turns. But let's see. They passed, right? Oh, it's, yeah, it's their main. All right. Counting, presumably. Nice tracker, land drop. Nice. Hey, Wed here from Science Versus. Our show takes on the messy world of news and internet fights to find out what's real. Fetch, clue, crack one, make it a four three. <laughs> Get in here. I don't think they have a way to kill this. They'll get it up to four by cracking the clue, but they're not going to have a mana to crack another one, even though they could fetch and make another one. Presumably, they'll at least fetch. Unless they have a pump spell? Why would you not fetch there? All right, well, that's fine. Uh, this might eat a counter spell. Three, four, five. For the hermit. Okay. I honestly expected something there, but okay. Yeah, I mean it's fine. Because Xfinity Mobile gives you more flexible data. You can choose to share data between lines, mix with unlimited or switch. I at least would have fetched before the tireless tracker went. Which means you can save money. Get one more clue. Like you can't have enough clues. Yeah. Yeah. I think they stumbled. I think they either kept a bad open or an open that they thought was good. Because I mean both of the last two games, they had multiple turn one, turn two plays that were sought. Like, they, when they had their Lotus Cobra, they had, like, eight plays. Oh, we had a great start. We had a great start. Tusk. Yep. Which is fine, because that does not kill Carnage Tyrant without a pump. That does not pump. And technically, we have a flyer. I probably should have swung with that last time. That's fine. Yeah. Math is for blockers, Dakaro. <laughs> oh, good times. Uh, it's true, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so seven, they eat three, take four. 
Uh, we attack with birds and make a shit ton of mana. Uh, this pays the green red. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pump for six. Um, or they just concede. I'm fine with that too. Yeah, because with the squirrels, they were they must have been sitting there counting it up. Second 3-0. That was awesome. Dakaru, I know, because I've been in and out of chats and stuff. I know people have said things about this cube. It's an excellent cube. And I'm not just saying that because I just won. I got my ass spanked last night. Not in the good way. It was still really fun. I did three fucking drafts last night. I stayed up way too late. I did two on stream and one after because it's so much fun. This is a great time. 